Hey everybody, Ethan here, and it's the last uh, service of 2021 here at the CSL. Um, normally we were doing Christmas songs, but that was officially yesterday, so that's over. <laughs> uh, so we're doing Barbara Streisand and uh, Barry Manilow, mostly, for this service. Here to tell you... And my feelings are well known on the issue here. <laughs> really, really not a fan of Happy Days Are Here Again in the style of Barbra Streisand. Maybe Mitch Miller with the Give Me a C, a Bouncy C might be different. Really, really, really do not like the arrangement that Barbara popularized. And that's fine for her. And of course, you know, she's uh, Barbara's Barbara, and Barbara's going to do what Barbara does. But. Uh, for the rest of us, what really cheeses me off is the song makes musical sense in the beginning. That's like you get into that feel, and then suddenly it's just completely, it's so stupid. It goes sharps, and then it goes flats, like within like a measure of each other. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, why couldn't it have been, like, all sharps or all flats? Like, I don't understand why it has to go sharp and then immediately flat. So, I just, I really feel like this could have been arranged much differently. And again, you put Barbara up there, of course it's going to be amazing, but that's Barbara. But for the rest of us, who has to play the music. You know, some of that stuff on piano, maybe it's just a matter of just, like, shifting your hand once and then you're on different keys. But in my case, it's like, um... I was kind of going this direction here, the, the notes are over here, and now it's like, it's just off by one in such a way where it's like, uh, okay, but it was sharps, and then it was flats. And what really annoys me is that one of the notes is F flat. So E. <laughs> um, so... All I've committed to on this particular number is getting through it again, because I don't think it went particularly well the last time. Um, but I went better this time. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how we do. There's once again no chair in the front like there normally is, so I don't really have a place to put the phone. Um, so I'm going to do what I can do. Um, I want to film daybreak, but we'll see. I can't guarantee it. Um, just because there's nowhere really to put the phone to have any kind of cohesive sense of like what's going on. <laughs> um, well, anyway. Um, I'm in the hurry up and wait mode with coffee. And now we have a great wake-up song for special music by Sam and Jonathan Brown.
through the first half of the service. Um, as told with uh, Happy Days Are Here Again, got through it, but not well. <laughs> Just got through it. Um, and the Daybreak did pretty good. I, you know, it's uh, going to be our featured song in January, so I expect to get progressively better at it. Um, but I thought I had it kind of down in rehearsal when it was time for actual showtime, and I blew a few notes, but not enough to like, you know, walk off the stage in disgust or anything. <laughs> so I was trying to do a video of this at home, uh, but here I am in the real place, as it were. Um, I wanted to talk about gratitude for a moment. And to that end, I'm very grateful to the CSL for the opportunity they've given me here. This is not me quitting. This is me just acknowledging in the real place uh, that I am grateful for what they've given me. They've given me an opportunity to, every week, improve, to play with other people, to have exposure to different music that I, in my bubble world at home, wouldn't necessarily seek out on my own. Um, yeah, I'm rough, you know, having a rough time with Happy Days Are Here Again, and the reality of it on the ground is that it's going to come back. He'll bring it back again at some point, and I'm going to have to, like, suffer through it again. But... It can't be an attitude of, I'm going to suffer through. It's an annoying song, and I've been over this about what I don't like about it. But I have the opportunity every time to get better, to come up with a new strategy, to figure out, okay, where am I going to land these notes at? Because some of it, again, it's fun and games when you're on the piano, but when you're trying to play the bass line to it or come up with one, um, even just coming up with roots, it's like a lot of stuff flies by so fast and it's literally on, on every syllable. You have to kind of pick and choose your moments as to what you're doing. Um, so again, I'm just, I'm very grateful to the CSL that I have this chance every week to come in, have this experience and learn, make adjustments, figure out what you need to do. You know, it's not all a technological solution. It doesn't mean go out and buy more gear. What it means is this comes down to actual skill at playing and knowing what to play and how to play it. Um, so, Orlando CSL, I'm yeah, very grateful to you for this, and I look forward to uh, continuing more of it in 2022.